tonight without the excitement I expected quite still. There has been one knockdown, that a flash knockdown from a quick, sharp left by Lent against Benitez. That was in the third round. Probably expected Leonard to do a lot more punching, to throw a lot more of his dazzling flurries. But you don't do that against a fighter like Benitez. You've got to be careful. You can leave yourself too open, especially when the champion is one of the best of all counter punches. Blood is flowing again from Benitez's head. This is ninth round action. Right there, Benitez with a counter right. Benitez getting to Leonard there. Doesn't seem to me that Leonard has taken advantage, as he might have, of that flow of blood in Benitez's head. Now Leonard did something that I wondered about earlier. He went down to the belly. And sure enough, Abe Jacobs leaps to his feet and says, go to the body. But Benitez is scoring in this one. He may have Sugar Ray in trouble. overlooked. John McPhee's great book, Levels of the Game. He wrote about Arthur Ashe and Clark Ravener in tennis. A good right by Leonard, and suddenly Benitez was hurt. Tried to laugh it off, but he was hurt. So that came from nowhere. Well, the point I was making is Benitez fights according to the level of the game. Using the right lead. And it seemed to me. Maybe 50 seconds. Leonard started to eat number between rounds from Benitez's scoring. And there was Benitez scoring well with his left. And again. Ray's going to have to figure that out from his point of view. Right of Leonard's hurt Benitez. Now the right is becoming more effective. We had felt that Leonard's left would be the key, and now he's fighting smarter. He's going down to the belly. But you see Benitez's counterpunch. You can't stay in front of him. You've got to be a moving target. Otherwise, Benitez will kill you with that counterpunch. You know what people forget about Leonard is, because not that much is really known about amateur boxing, many of the fighters he beat at Montreal would be in the American sense, professional fights. And when you beat a Valery Limassol, the great southpaw from the Soviet, and Ulrich Bayer, the great veteran of East Germany, and finally, an Andres Aldema of Cuba, you have beaten some very, very fine fighters and garnered an experience that you can't measure. Now, Ray having a little fun, threatening the bolo punch. out again from Benitez's bar.
the tenth round. Round 11. Sugar Ray Lent has never gone past the 10th round before. Benitez, pass. Five times Benitez has had to go 15 rounds. That was hurt. I mean, Benitez was hurt. He continues to laugh it off, and at least try to, but he was hurt. Dundee is yelling, you got him, go after him, you got him, maybe. Dave Jacobs is yelling, dig to the body, to the side. Everybody has advice, but it's not the critic, it's the man in the arena. This is the 11th round, and Leonard quickly established the flow of it with a right that shocked Benitez. Doubled him up. Benitez grows a little wild and senses that he must do something and do it quick, quickly. Seeking to measure him, still being careful, delivered a right and quickly covered up, not wanting to leave himself open to that Benitez counterpunching technique. One man, 21, but with the knowledge of a man of 30 in boxing, that's Benitez. The other, 23, but with a far greater knowledge than he was given credit for, and Benitez staggered a bit, hurt a bit again, and Dave Jacobs up to his feet, the mouthpiece out, Leonard trying to polish Benitez off, and there is pain in Benitez's eyes. You can tell when a fighter is hurt, when you've been on the beat a lot of years, and you're properly positioned at one side, you can tell, and there is pain in Benitez's face. And Leonard trying to put him away. That was Dave Jacobs banging on the ring apron, screaming to the body. But the great professional that Benitez is comes back with his own count of punches. These two men are professionals in the purest sense of the word. It is a, it is a lesson in boxing skills to see these two men. And Benitez got up to the head and caught Leonard but did not hurt him. Benitez is now out of trouble.